Morning. Morning, Matt. Morning. Oh, we're on. So as you guys saw in the last video, this whole section over here is completely done, sort of. Well, yeah. everything's an ongoing process. But today, this whole back wall, fingers crossed, is going to have a whole racking system on it. Hang on, did we discuss the whole back wall yesterday? Oh, no, we did. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah. So right at the end of the day, we had a discussion, didn't we? Yes. Because we were going to do it on that corner. That side, wasn't it? It was going to be this side where the racking system is. But then we realised we'd have to cut wood if we did that. Yeah, it wasn't just that, though, was it? We no. didn't have enough space quite for the tanks and stuff. So there was other reasons. Yeah, mainly. <laughs> mainly cutting. Mainly cutting. <laughs> um, but then we realised that this whole wall back here is absolutely perfect for two big racks. Basically, all of the tanks with no gaps, but fits perfect. Well, it, we're hoping it will. Uh, yeah, it should do. It's, it's we, roughly 4.8 metres. Wait, we still haven't got rid of these leaves. Ah, oh, man. Right, that's today's job. It's, it's going to be an ongoing joke, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> this, these, these poor plants in the background slowly. If you go back six months, you can see them really healthy. Yeah. And then in six months' time, there's just nothing left there. No, no, they've got water now. They just need the bad ones. Yeah, they do. They, yeah. We have looked Sorry, after them now. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so this is, what is it, five metres roughly across this back wall, isn't it? Yes. So we should be able to fit two 2.4 metre planks in there. Yeah. And and Look at that, quick math. <laughs> so good. So, I don't call you math, you. We. We. <laughs> uh, first job, though, is clearing all of this lot. So the, we can... Did we decide that if we're going to just clean this up and drain it down and refill it again? Or do yeah. you think we should take out the Akaras? No, I think we can... Well, we were going to clean... We were going to drain it down, clean it, and then see if we can move it without taking it off, was the plan. Okay. But that can change if you want it to. It's more effort to clean it and move it all and all that, but you think we can just put the Akara because we've got three Royals, so three of these bad boys, look at that, whoa. And then three of the electric blues, and you were saying we could quite easily just put them into this, this holding tank of a million different fish. Yeah, I don't reckon there's, they're not super aggressive cichlids, so they're not that bad, and there's no one in there that they should really bother. They're not um, that big, really, are, yeah, yeah, either, are they, so. Absolutely not. You know, the blue Akaras could go in the rainbow tank, they could go in the archfish tank, they could go, we've got baby mollies in there, so not in there. But yeah, depends if we want to catch them out soon, or if we want to keep them in wherever they're going for a long time. Let's, let's try, let's try and move it with them and, drain down water. Yeah. Because these, this wood should skid. Like I made it so that it's on three cross pieces. So it should just be able to sort of skid along. Yeah, we should we'll be able to it. slide we'll, it out. We'll see what happens. Yeah, if, it, if we can't, then we just take yeah. them out. It's got to be drained down anyway. So, you know, if we drain it down and move it, win. If we drain it down and find it doesn't move, we'll drain it down all the way. Yeah, okay, let's just crack it. There's quite a lot to do. There is. Hopefully we can get this done within the next few hours and we can go and get all the, the materials. Yes. Fingers crossed. So we're just moving everything around and, and Matt pointed out how, uh, what's the word should we use? Excitable. Excitable, excited. The male uh, rainbow fish are this morning. Look at the colors on that Bozeman. It's just like glowing and the, and the blues as well. And uh, Matt, I never remember the name of these ones. That's Jeff. <laughs> Jeff the rainbow. The, oh, um, I think they're splendid rainbows. They, they definitely are splendid. I think they're splendid. Or are they western? They might be western rainbows. They show great colour as well there's, in the mornings. There's so many species of rainbow fish, and a lot of them, when they're grey, just look so similar. And I'm only mm. used to seeing them grey, because they yes. never colour up in the shop. So when, when they colour up, I'm like, oh, I think that's one of them, because I never see them like that. Yeah, ever, and also very in the shop, they come in quite young. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And these are now several years old. Still lots of growing to do, but yeah, I love the mornings. They just, they always look so good. Right, back to moving stuff and things. <laughs> Obviously a lot of this is all time-lapsed <laughs> and people, it, it looks fast, but it is grueling, it is work. But even the amount we've just done, which isn't a huge amount, it still feels like progress and it feels yeah. like we're getting there and it's sort of, you just got to keep visualizing the end, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah, it's just moving stuff. You might not, they might not be able to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably going to hear that. They're doing the guttering outside, but yeah, yeah it's fine. We'll, we'll carry on. Crack on. Oh. We're halfway there. Nearly. This uh, 
This is so much heavier than we thought. It is quite weighty, isn't it? Once you get that initial movement on the drag... Yes, you just got to keep going. You just got to keep going. Yeah. And we stopped. Yes. I think I needed that. Oh. I think you were going to faint, so I think, it was, I think it was the right call to stop. So Matt's doing a slight lift as I do the pull, and we just sort of then drag it. Yeah, the whole thing's twisting, but the glass hasn't cracked yet. It's fine. That we know of. It'll be all right, yeah. <laughs> There's no water on the floor, and that, that's part of the problem. We're getting there. It feels good to know that's done. Yeah. This that's... isn't staying like this, is it? No. But Well, it is for the minute. For the minute, yeah. <laughs> we just basically wanted to clear that whole back wall. We just got that racking to clear. <laughs> Everything's in the way, but it's kind of, kind of like how it has to be at the moment, isn't it? You have to make a mess to create something beautiful. Is that a thing? No. Something about cracking eggs, isn't it? Is. It is. You have to break eggs to make a cake or something? An, an omelette. Yeah, or an omelette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wall will be clear, water butt moved. Um, and then this, this is quite easy. This isn't black water, by the way. There's so many beautiful red root floaters that the water's just up. There's no fish in it, so that's why I've kind of left it. Um, this can all be taken down as well. And, oh, I've just remembered. I've got, like, 150 plants in my car. Oh. Got a plant delivery. But we can, we can get this all sorted first. Yeah. I've got space, I've got space. Yeah, we'll be fine. But this is important. More fun. Yeah. Or something. I'm not sure it's fun. <laughs> oh, I nearly tripped over that. Honestly, you are so clumsy today. Three times today I've nearly tripped over. I probably had ten yesterday. <laughs> it's not going <laughs> it's well. It's my mind. I'm focusing on the next thing and forgetting what's in front the of me. The next job. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a... A metaphorical lesson there, isn't there? Is that I'm always fo looking at the next job instead of focusing on what's in front of me. Yeah. We have cleared the whole back wall. Oh, the camera can't focus because it's just white. But yeah, you stay there, you stay in it. Yeah, whole back wall cleared. There's an absolute mess of tanks and like different electrical things and lights and everything all dotted around us. That's because a lot of this including all this done here, we'll go back on the racking. Now, of course, there will be no racking unless we go and get it, so we need to go to the builder's merchants, and, uh, yeah, we haven't got a clue what we're doing, really. Do some heavy lifting? Heavy lifting, but also it's just, just uncharted territory for us, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this bit. But we don't have to build anything. It's stacking. So, yeah, let's go get it. So we are at the builder's merchants, and I feel like a fish out of water. Yeah. Do you like that? I haven't. That was a nice little touch, that. I have no <laughs> clue what we're looking at. OK, yeah, there's tons and tons to touch. Tons yeah, and there's, <laughs> there's tons of stuff to choose from, but anything grey, I think, is what we're interested in. Uh, well, no, well, I mean, we don't want slate to... Although... I was just looking like... I think we want those. Loads of run away. It's not those, is it? Oh, it's, there we go. Is that it? What? In those crates? Yeah, I think so. No. No. No, that's more slate. <laughs> no. Ah, yes. It's those, isn't it? Yeah. Those are concrete? I think those are those air, air creek blocks. Oh, we don't want air creek because they were like really expensive. What the hell is air creek? I mean, it looks pretty solid. But they were like double the price and they weigh just as much. Uh, Got to be in here, look. Those uh, patio slabs. I hope they don't, I hope they haven't sold out. It did say there were loads. Uh, no. Oh, other way around. There's stuff over here, Matt. There's some curbs. I see something. No. Oh, no. <laughs> this isn't boding well. Because I don't want to be travelling, like, 10 miles up the road. Because no. we've got to do about 15 trips. Oh, uh, yes. I'm not seeing it. Me neither. Let's go and ask someone. Yeah, let's help. go find someone. OK, we, we found the blocks. Uh, yeah, they were hidden away, but there's definitely enough here. So these guys are going to kindly load up the back of the Jag. Probably going to uh, destroy it a little bit, but <laughs> it, who cares? <laughs> Second time. Sorry, we'll just use this bit. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a nice new modern car, but we have to use a bit of wood to prop it. I broke the... Uh, I broke it recently by trying to close it um, when there was way too much stuff in there. So yeah, I, do you mind if I keep this stick? <laughs> I could use it all the time. It's under warranty, but still. <laughs> Apparently the Jaguar Labour is a hundred and, no, what was it, 200 quid an hour? The richest yeah, mechanics in the world. Well, let's go 
a lovely day. What a lovely day. Yeah, we've got the blocks. Well, went, 20. We went, <laughs> <laughs> oh, literally forgot that was coming down looking through the screen. It just clouded me on there. Oh, it's being fixed like in a week. Yeah, OK. So, uh, got yeah. The... so we've got 20 blocks because that like lowered the suspension enough and I thought, you know, don't risk it any further. But we just have to do a few trips. Yeah, I reckon we need four trips. Yeah, let's get stacking. Not building, stacking. Stacking. It's like Lego. <laughs> yeah. So we have our first blocks in, and now we've already gone and got the wood. We've done like two trips to get all the blocks. How many blocks was it? Um, I can't remember. 40? No. 17. 44. 42. <coughs> 42 was the original plan. I think we've got less now. Something like 40 blocks. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was 42. It was 42. 42. 42. And then we've got 16 of these lengths, okay? So the total cost so far, expenditure-wise, is £200, which is like $220, $230? I think so, yeah. $240, something like that, anyway. So uh, there's only one more thing we need to get, which is, I'll explain in a minute, but boarding that goes on top of this to pin it all together. So originally, we was going to have it flat, Matt. Show how we were going to do it originally. Yeah, so like... We're going to do it like that and have an additional brace in the middle. But then I was like, well, why do that? Look, it flexes. Flip it on its side have more of them like that, so we can have four in a row, plus a, uh, a nice flat sheet of, of ply or something on top that locks all those pieces together so they can't sort of, you know, tilt, not that they would once the weight of everything's on it, but, you know, just to reduce any chance, tidy it up a little bit, just a flat piece all the way across, and that should uh, lock everything in, make it even more strong yep. and tidier as well. Yeah, because when you're lifting tanks on, all it takes is that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, ah. Oh, yeah, that'd be right. it. He's got the tank. Well, it, it wouldn't be able to because it would be pinned by the blocks. Oh, uh, yeah, it would be, yeah, once you've got the blocks on top. Top row, wouldn't they? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so this is, the, this is the right way to do it. Yeah. A little bit of extra cost, but I think it's going to be worth it. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the right way to do it. <laughs> it's a way to do it. It's a way to do it. You're not going to put this in your front room. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. Well, actually, if you've got an industrial look. Yeah, to be fair. Nice no studio has. apartment, yeah. loads of metal a lighting. Man cave room. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So we've got all our f frame, is it? Fr yeah. We've got a frame. Frame. So that's that. And on top of that now, now we need to go and get the plywood or MDF or whatever board. It doesn't really matter what it is because it'll be sealed with paint anyway. Um, it won't, we'll have to get one, two, three, four, and then the next layer, five, six, seven, eight boards. Yep. Because we can't get them that length in our cast. No. But it's fine. It's just there to pin it all down and tie it together. Yeah. Yeah. That's Add a little fine. bit of strength. Uh, yeah. And then we can, we can actually start building it. Let's yeah. just see, for the lighting, we've got, we haven't got enough actually. I need more, lots more. How many did you order? Five. Five is not enough. No. Not at all. We uh, five gonna... does one ray. Uh, four does one four ray. Four does one ray, Because yeah. it's, it's now two metres four, which is, yeah, six foot six, two metres. Yeah, so it is. It's, it's going to need four more. How many have we got? We've got five. Yeah, we got five, yeah. yeah five. Three. three more. <laughs> Our maths. It's a good job this doesn't take complicated maths. Yeah, because... this is why we can't screw it together, because in all honesty, we'll get it wrong <laughs> a dozen times before yeah. we get it right. It's OK, that's all part of the learning process. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. For this one time. So it's now the weekend, it's just me. So I said to Matt that we can work real, real hard Monday to Friday, get everything done, and then he can have his weekends free. Matt's worked in retail for a long time, and very often retail, you don't get a weekend off, do you? Now Matt's got a young family, he's got a baby boy. Well, I say baby, he's like a year old now. But having gone through that three times myself, I think it's really worthwhile for him to be able to have the weekends with his family. His wife's a teacher, so she gets the weekends off as well. Works out perfect. So what am I doing here? Well, on the weekends, I like to get up really early and then come to the studio, do some work. Then I go home for when it's about breakfast time and then spend the whole day you know, with the family. That's how I sort of keep to seven day a week working. It works really well. I get lots done in the morning, back home, and yeah, lots of family time still as well. But what I want to do now is carry on with the build and then hopefully have it almost sort of finished by the time Matt comes on Monday morning. I'm not saying for sure if I can, but I'm going to have a go. It should be quite simple to carry on with what we've got to do. So yeah, top layer is on. On top of this goes the board now. I pin all that to the wood um, with screws as well, paint it black, stain the wood, and then onto the next layer. We've got all the blocks here. I've got all the other sort of cross beams there. And then here's the wood panels. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but it's kind of how it has to be. Once the racking's done, we can put everything on top of it. But until then, it's just sort of moving around everything. Pile of electricals, lovely. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, and if you're watching this back, Matt, I just want to say thank you for the most fun and sort of productive week I've had in like years and years. So yeah, it's been so good. We didn't even go to the pub. Like we said on a Friday, we'd go to the pub. We, we just didn't have time. We were so busy and so focused. So we're gonna make up for it next week by going every day. <laughs> We have some lighting sorted, look at that. So basically what it is, is a screw there and a screw there and the other side, and you can just lift it off and on again. Obviously there's gonna be a board on top, so you can't do that, but I've left enough of a gap where you can tilt it and just bring it in between the gaps. Nice and simple, but you know, it works perfectly well. Now underneath is gonna be plant storage tanks. So we've just got some real cheap lighting. That's all you need for that. On the top is gonna be the actual tanks bit more expensive lighting, that's going to be super fish stuff, but it looks, it looks way better and it grows plants and everything like that much better as well. Now for plant storage, I just do a tank with like an inch or so of water and put the pots into that. Many people ask me why I do that and why I don't just put the whole thing into the tank, like full of water. Well, then there's just more tanks to maintain that don't need to. If you do it this way with just the inch, the plants continue to grow inside. You put a little cover over the top just to keep the humidity in there, but you don't have to maintain them or do anything. You can just literally leave them where they are. And like I said, they keep growing, they get bigger and you can use them whenever you want. So yeah, this is exciting seeing some lighting on it. Uh, gonna do the other side, get the boarding on, go up to the next layer, level, something like that. And yeah, just carry on. Right, that's the first layer done. A couple of misalignment bits there, but I'm not worried about that. But look, I mean, that is strong. I weigh nearly 100, no, 95 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds, but yeah, there's not gonna be that much weight on each one going across, but I can't feel it flexing. Maybe you can see on the video, it doesn't feel like it's flexing at all. Now we can just paint that whole lot before we put the next layer of blocks on and that make it easier rather than cutting in around the edges and that. Get a roller. Oh, there we go. Looking really, really tidy. Now, if you guys wanted to do this, but didn't want to spend money on the extra board, because that does add quite a bit of cost, to be honest, I would put another one in the middle. It does reduce, though, then, the amount of tanks you can have. Not if you're only going one layer high, but it does reduce the amount underneath. Um, if you go in two layers, it, it dramatically reduces it because obviously you can't have a tank where there's a pillar. But what we're doing with the board is we're actually making it so that each one of those planks that goes across is not act acting independently with the weight, it's acting as a whole. Look at me trying to pretend I'm an engineer, but it, it's stronger with board is what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, pretty obvious, right? Now we can go another layer up using the bricks. I mean, ideally I'll wait for the paint to dry, but you guys know I'm not that patient. <laughs> There we go, now we're cooking. So yeah, I think that bottom row looks really smart. And the top row's a little bit of a smaller gap, but that makes sense because then these tanks aren't like too high, they're just at head height. So we've got enough room in that gap for four tanks, 45 centimeters each, quite comfortably, you know? There'll be a little gap either side, that's absolutely fine. You don't want it too close to the rocks, do you? So we can have four along there, four along there. And I think we can have five on the top and five on the top, so that's, 10, my maths is so bad. That's 18 of those tanks in total in that section. So that's a lot of tanks. It should look really, really cool. This one down here is gonna be raised up slightly off the floor. We don't want it sat on the floor. So I'm gonna do a run of this, this wood just for it to sit on. It doesn't need to be load bearing. So yeah, that, that'll tidy it up as well and bring the gap in and just tie everything in together. But yeah, now that the top isn't on this one, I can get them stained, fit the lighting as well. Well, there we go. I think that has gone really well, but, and there is a but, I am thinking that we need to go one step higher. Like, I'm pretty sure Matt will too. I cannot wait till Monday when he comes in, get his reaction. It looks really class, I think, and that's without any tanks. 
or any greenery or nothing on it. So yeah, we'll get Matt's opinion. I think we need to go up another stage just to like sort of take it a, a, a level higher. Just to sort of have that real big visual impact and that sort of solid racking look. Currently it looks a bit like a table. <laughs> a high table, of course, but yeah. We'll wait till Monday, see what Matt thinks. So it's now Monday. Matt is due any second. The place, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a tip everywhere. But you can see where we're going with this. I'm hoping he's gonna like it. I'm pretty sure he is, but I think he's gonna to wanna to do what I wanna do as well next, which is go up another layer. He might not, but I mean, why wouldn't you? Matt's just knocked, he's here. He's here, I've handed him the microphone. Right, you can come in. Can, can you hear me? You can come in, Matt. I can just about close hear- Close your eyes. I can just about hear your muffled voice. Oh no, I can't close my eyes. I'll, I'll shade my eyes, I'll trip over something. Maybe I'm making too much of a deal out of this. But here's where we currently stand with the- We are here. With the, with the racks. Take a look. <gasps> oh my word. <laughs> I cracked on a little bit. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh. It's massive, isn't it? It's chunky, isn't it? <laughs> but, but I've already said to, to the viewers mm. that I think we need to go another layer up. What, another row of breeze blocks? Yeah. And then, yeah. I think then it's a rack rather than a tall table. And it also matches this then. It will sit there, wouldn't it? Yeah. And it won't stop any extraction or fanage. Nope. It's a bit more cost, but it will look way cooler. Well, to be fair, we could have one, two, probably three tanks there and three tanks there. And you could always put wood underneath that yeah. one. Just yeah. like some bits of nice bog wood. Yeah. Rather than <laughs> tanks. But yeah, okay, done. I mean, I'm not sure we're going to need more tanks even higher. Always need more tanks. Yeah, eventually, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but okay, RGB it is, let's go. <laughs> Literally got in the door. No, I let you have get settled. No, I'm good, I'm ready to go. I'm just yeah? sat in traffic. Yeah. Oh, was it bad? Oh yeah, it's like, uh, sad as this sounds, 19 tractors I passed this morning. Did you actually? Yeah, I started counting after four. <laughs> and I was like, hang on a minute, why is there so many tractors? It's Welcome like, to the country. Yeah, it must be, I don't know what, what right? happens in October for, for farmers, but must it must be something. Be, must yeah. be something exciting. All weekend it's been the same. Oh, it's nuts. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it wasn't fun. Anyway, fish tanks. <laughs> yeah. So that is it for this one. In the next video, the whole racking system will be complete with the airline in, you know, bubbling up, all looking brilliant. We're hoping to put some really cool backlighting on it and everything like that, just to make it look really special. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you again.